Hey guys, today we're going to be traveling on the 253 route by Borders buses from here Edinburgh bus station all the way to Berkpon Tweed. So let's get inside the bus station. Bus departed on time at nine o'clock from stand eight. A little bit about Borders buses. They are a local and regional bus company based in Berkbon Tweed. It operates services in Edinburgh, East Lothian, Mid Lothian, and Scottish Borders, as well as Cumbria and Northumberland in England. It is a subsidiary of West Coast Motors, who purchased them in 2016 when they were called Perryman's Buses and were renamed the following year. Also, in 2017, the company took over all services from First Scotland East that were in the Scottish borders, including their depots at Galashiels, Hoyk, Kelso and Peebles. The company has had a rapid growth over the last almost decade, acquiring more routes and purchasing many modern buses. Let's get back to today's journey. With a possibility of 90 stops, the bus is scheduled to take 2 hours and 34 minutes. The bus has two tables towards the rear with wireless chargers on them, which were functional. These seats at the tables also have loads of legroom so you won't feel squished, but the same cannot be said for the other seats. The padding on the seats was really comfy in my opinion, and the lever gives it a premium look. There is also a three point seat belt for your safety. Connecting to the Wi-Fi couldn't have been easier, two taps and you're in. Although the speeds shown don't look very fast, I was actually able to watch YouTube with little to no buffering, however when we got to rest, the Wi-Fi stopped working for no reason. There was a nice wee pop out button to use as a coat hook which I thought was a neat feature. I would recommend headphones or earbuds to listen to music because I thought the bus made quite an annoying high pitched squeal for most of the journey, but that could just be me. An interesting feature about most of Border Bus's new buses is that they are bike friendly and can take up to two bikes on board towards the front of the vehicle. The bus had very few people on it, probably because it was a Monday and it was the first service down so people were probably just going to take the later bus.
fact about East Linton is that it's home to the Preston Mill, one of the oldest meal mills in Scotland that is still in working order. This mill dates back to the end of the 1500s and even played a starring role in the hit TV series Outlander. Preston, located on the East Coast Mainline Railway, used to have a railway station but it got shut down in the 1960s and the village was left without a station for almost 60 years before the reopening of the station began construction in March 2021 and it reopened on the 23rd of May 2022 after they poured £20 million into building it, making it one of the newest train stations in Scotland. As we approach the station, let's summarise today's trip. I took the Borders Buses 253 route from Edinburgh all the way to berwick upon tweed and I was the only passenger who did the full route. The bus was modern and clean and had very few passengers on board. The driver was friendly and professional. I think the route's more for locals going a couple of stops than getting off rather than going from start to finish. How much was it? Well, I used my under 22's NEC card to get it for free because it is one of the very few routes that go into England where you can use it. However, if you booked it for the next day on your phone, you could get a borderless single ticket, as they call it, for £5.80, which isn't too bad. But if you're gonna do the route, it's more for the scenery than value for money and how long it's gonna take.
Like a little hollow tunnel thing. And there's another one over there. It's crazy. It's so tiny. A car is supposed to fit through that gap. There's no space at all. That's cool. America Pond 2 is a very nice place. It's got lots of old like castle stuff and like ruins and stuff like that. It's really cool. It's like quite interesting. You could definitely have like a day trip here. And this is by far the most peaceful spot I have found here. And you even get a good view of the bridge of all the trains crossing. So it's pretty good. might not be able to see it from here but all the way over there there's a little lighthouse along a long pier and we're gonna walk along there to see it <laughs> look at the view you know, that's inwards to the town, I guess. And then there's just a wall here, but it turns into a pier. There's grass on the other side. There's the beach from the other side. I think it's called Tweed or Tweed Bank though. It's not part of a... Uh, it's not part of Berk upon Tweed. It's interesting. This is a completely privately owned pier. So there's lots of warnings at the start saying enter at your own risk and that uh, you're liable for anything that happens to you. Please pause the video if you want to read the info.
Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment what I should do next.